My name is David Schmidt, aka DS, and I am a stencil artist from London. The type of work I'm best known for, probably my highly detailed and kind of modernised angels and cherubs that I have dotted around. I think my appreciation for kind of classical uh, architecture, classical artwork and sculptural work um, from back in the day. I think it, it would be to be, to come from my, my childhood being kind of very Christian family, going to school, church every day. Definitely an appreciation for classical sculptures and architectures. I mean, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And uh, the, the church had a lot of money and they brought a lot of the finest artists around the world from all aspects of time periods and they brought them in and they worked for them. So yeah, I can appreciate the, the beauty with, that comes with classical artwork, but my touch, I wanted to bring a bit more kind of modernizing into it. With, the, with my art, the, the kind of themes and uh, patterns that come through my art would probably be a little bit of contrasting, a bit of juxtaposition within the artwork. Um, good and evil, uh, fragile and, and dangerous, uh, old and new. I feel like it creates a bit of tension within the art. It, it brings it to a more modern kind of state, especially with classical artwork. I think it's, it's beautiful, but um, you don't necessarily want to be having statues or anything like that that's kind of very classical in your home. So I want to be able to bring things ideally so that artwork that I create I would like to have in my house. When I started my kind of artistic journey I guess I think it was from a young age. Um, I was never particularly academic, I had a lot of kind of insecurities, low confidence, but the, with art, I, I, I had kind of a solid inner confidence throughout my whole life. It was always something I could kind of go back to uh, and, and also kind of hide away with uh, in, in my own mind. And I started off with very kind of very small, intricate drawings. Um, and it's kind of a natural evolution really to where I get where I am now using a scalpel as, as my main tool. I lived in East London in 2002. And I was kind of dabbling with, with the art world and doing a little bit of cheeky graffiti with my brother and at that point Banksy was very prolific, uh, his, new, his pieces were springing up all over the place so um, it, was a, it was a big moment I think when me and my brother used to kind of hunt Banksy's, don't want to be a Banksy fanboy but um, I can't, I, I'm massively appreciated for him and what he's done for the art, art, art scene. He's, uh, he's brought out you know, the artwork, street art specifically, into the mainstream so I can make a living now from what I do, partially because of what he's done. Spray paint's a very messy medium. I mean, you can, you can make it very fine detail, but it's, it's a lot harder, I think. Uh, I also like working on small scale, so I, it's not really something that you can feasibly do to get a lot of detail using spray paint. So stencils is always kind of a natural direction for me. Plus, you can you know, technically you can just use reuse the stencils a couple times and and repeat the the hard work that you've made to cut them out. I pride myself on kind of fine fine detailed stencils, multi layer, and to to my detriment, it kind of sometimes it looks a little bit too digital. But for me, it's, it's I kind of that's my my forte. I like to be able to show off the capabilities of of spray paint through stencils. When I'm in the zone, I, I can eat, sleep, drink artwork. I, I don't really, I can miss lunches and I can, I can work until the early hours and it's, it's fun, I enjoy it. It's what I love, I, I don't know, I don't, it's hard to explain or, or describe, but it's, it just becomes very easy for me to spend a lot of time on it. It's enjoyable for me. What do I love about the work I do? It allows me to, to push my capabilities, my, my boundaries, I guess. I try not to be pigeonholed or, or stick with one type of artwork. So I love the fact that I can explore different mediums and realms of, of thoughts or whatever. You know, it's it's all it's all open territory to be explored. I'm not really limited in that sense.